All right, so <clears throat> plans call for this wide section to be two inches long. So we'll cut off a piece of the big stuff at about two and a quarter to give me a little room to square it up and face it off. And uh, go from there. Sometimes when the camera gets unplugged and plugged back in, the microphone that I'm wearing apparently doesn't take. So you got camera audio that last bit, and I apologize. I'll try to keep track of that better. So now we've got in our uh, two-inch chunk of steel that we're going to use for the big gear. But um, I decided in order to get a hold of this thing to turn it, what I'll do is I'll grab it in the chuck, and then I'll face this end off and I'll center drill and I'll actually drill for the bore that I'm going to press into. So I'm going to cut my mortise first for you woodworkers. Because it's easier, it's always easier to trim a tenon than it is to uh, enlarge a mortise. So there's that piece. While I have the bandsaw out, I'm going to do uh, these other two. I'm going to cut blanks for these other two pieces because um, they can be as big as possible because I want them to be the uh, set against the blade so the larger they are the better so what I'm going to do is just cut off a couple of um, probably uh, one is half inch one is three eighths I'm going to cut off a couple that are a bit over that because I'm going to need them anyway so we'll just take off, you know, I'm going to make enough to grab both of them out of one blank. And we'll just part it off, I think, is what we'll do. And there's that. Almost. There. Some really low pitched rumbling going on outside. It sounds like we got, uh, oh, you know what it is? It's the air show. We have an Air Force base a couple of miles uh, west or east of town, and they do a capital air show. So there's probably some blue angels out there flying around right now. This one will go quick. All right, so we're gonna start with this uh, three quarter inch chunk. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, somewhere down in here, we're gonna turn to a diameter that allows us to press on. So it'll be at least, <clears throat> it's upside down. It'll be at least 15 millimeters, if not a little more. So the first thing we need to do for that is face it. And I'm gonna put these down here out of the way. And this wouldn't have been possible two months ago. I uh, just recently bored out this chuck to take three quarters. It actually takes seven eighths now. And uh, it's been, it's very nice. <clears throat> it's very, very nice. So now what we'll do is we'll stop the travel. And this will be my first cut in leaded steel. So we're going to get a C at how this uh, behaves. And we'll face this off here. And uh, that's pretty good there. So what I'll do now is bring up the bring up the tailstock and we're drilling this because I want to get tailstock on it. And all we're doing is throwing in a center drill. 
A bit of cutting. Pull this down to here and just grab it as much as we dare. Get it tiny bit snug, not real snug. Bring up the tailstock. I'm going to bring myself as much. Okay, stay there. Bring myself a bit of this. Not quite that much, maybe an inch worth. Drop oil in there. Lock that down. Now we give the chuck a nice twist, knock that in. Hopefully that gets us pretty round. We'll find out here in a minute. That's pretty concentric to me. Okay. What are you? You're probably right about on three quarter, right? No, you're a little short. You're a little 175. It's 748, it looks like, yeah. So we're gonna try to take as little as I can here, but go as far up on this as possible. Okay, so first impressions are even my little tiny lathe can cut this stuff nicely. This is really good color, good finish, good surface finish. I like that. I like that a great deal. So I'm going to call that press ready right there. Whatever that dimension is, is what we'll bore out this piece for to go in the middle area there. So we're going to turn it just like this. We're going to have, this is in the chuck right now. Chuck's grabbing right here. And we'll turn these two bits first and that'll be what the chuck will grab when, uh, when uh, we Flip it around. Now we're looking at half inch we're trying to shoot for. And it's for 375. And we want to run you to half an inch. I like this uh, method I've just decided to try. I didn't. I've never tried it before, I've never thought about it, but I've seen some guys do it. And what you do is you set your caliper to the size you want, let's say half inch, and uh, zero it. Now measure your, your part that you're cutting, and that tells you how far oversized you are. I am 94 thou over. That is one end of our precision shaft. This bearing ought to press, press on there nicely. We'll loosen this, pop you out, and we'll find out real fast if we're too big or not. Yeah. It's just barely too tight. That'll press on there nicely, I think. Now we'll face this end nicely. So this will go to 15 millimeters as well. Ready to do this section here. And the first thing I'm going to do, because this is going to stick out quite a ways, I'm going to center drill for the, uh, the tailstock dead center.
All right, that is now press ready. All right, so slightly torn up uh, main thing here, but I think we can deal with that with some emery cloth. But uh, you've got your threaded end here for the blades. This is the bearing journal. Hopefully this will be the part the larger diameter is pressed on. This is the other bearing journal and the threaded uh, end to keep a nut to hold that bearing on. So that's one part. I will say this uh, this leaded steel is fun to turn. I will say that. Yeah, this will be great. We'll uh, put the bearing on. We're going to basically go up against this shoulder here and turn onto this just a tiny bit. Actually, it's already got a washer face, so hopefully it'll do. Um, it looks like my battery on my microphone is about to go, so I think that's a good signal from the universe that today is complete enough. Pretty good piece so far. Until next time.